Hey guys, how you going? And welcome back to another Ashes Cricket video. Now because the Ashes have started today, I thought we could try and predict the winner of the Ashes series by simulating the games on Ashes Cricket. So uh, let's take a look at the lineups I'll be using. So I've recorded this the night before the Ashes, so hopefully the lineups are correct. My only worry is Sean Marsh, I think he's under an injury cloud at the moment, and Glenn, Glenn Maxwell may take his place. But uh, up top we've got David Warner and Bancroft, Usman at 3, Steve Smith at 4, Hanscom at 5, Marsh at 6, Payne at 7, Cummins, Stark, Lyon and Hazelwood rounding out the 11. So looking at the English team, and we've got Cook and Stoneman up top with Vince at 3, Root at 4, Milan, Ali and Bairstow, and then we've got Wokes, Broad, Anderson and Ball rounding out the 11. So uh, let's go ahead and simulate this Ashes series. So here we go, I've simulated the first innings and I'm just going to show you guys innings by innings so you guys don't know the results straight away. And uh, as you can see, England batted first here and they got rolled for 178. No one really stood out, Milan top scored with 45 and with the ball, Nathan Lyon 4 for 67 off 16 overs and Hazelwood picking up a tidy 3 for 38 off 9 overs. Or well, Cummins also in the wickets, 3 for 30, and Stark surprisingly not getting any wickets. And taking a look at Australia's first innings, and as you can see, Warner got out for a golden duck, first ball of the innings, clean bowled by Jimmy Anderson, and uh, Bancroft 32 on debut, who top scored there, Hanscom with an 80 off 120 balls, Cummins also scoring runs, 71, and uh, Australia ended up on 365. And taking a look at the wickets, uh, Moeen Ali, 4 for 94, 23 overs, Jimmy Anderson as well, 4 for 64 off 18. And then England in the second inning scored 447 with Cook getting 61, Vince 50, Root and Milan, a pair of 90s, Ali with a ton, 104, he's, he's having a pretty good test match, and ball down the bottom, 28 not out off 90 balls. And looking at the bowling, only the four bowlers, bowlers used, Hazelwood 3 for 98, Lyon got pumped, 2 for 159 off 45 overs, and Stark finally getting in the uh, wickets with 4 for 87. So then Australia chased it down pretty easily in the end there. 3 for 262 with Warner, Bancroft and Usman uh, struggling there. But Smith 113 not out, Hanscom 120 not out. And they shared in a 230 run partnership to, uh, to bring the match home. So Australia 1-0 up in the Ashes series. So straight into the second test match, the day-night test match at Adelaide Oval. And uh, as you can see, Australia batted first 436 with Warner finally getting in the runs, 84. Uh, Usman 76, Steve Smith 66, Hanscom again in the runs 47, Tim Payne finally uh, show, proving the doubters out there, 86 off 90 balls. And uh, let's see how they how England went with the ball, Wokes with 3, Broad with 3, got pumped, it was going almost 5, and uh, Ball with 3 for 56, probably pick of the bowlers. And then England's first innings, they made 263 with Vince top scoring with 69, Ali 49 as well, Cook uh, getting 42. And looking at the bowling, Stark 5 for 66, and Hazelwood chipping in with 3 for 75. And Australia kept piling on the runs here, 521, Warner 77, Bancroft in just his second test match, 198 of 227 deliveries, uh, Usman again 77, Steve Smith again with a 60 odd, and yeah, not bad at all, that was a huge score, and now England are going to be struggling big time. So we take a look at the bowlers. Uh, everyone's pretty average here. Yeah. Anderson 3 for 115, Wokes 2 for 119, Ali 2 for 91, and Ball 200, 2 for 118. And that proved far too much for England. They were all out for 290 with Alistair Cook carrying his bat throughout the innings. 151 off 171. And no one else really wanted a bar of staying out there. Uh, looking at the bowling now, Lyon 5 for 123, and Stark and Cummins getting two wickets each. And I should also mention that man of the match in the first test was Josh Hazelwood. And in the second test match was Mitchell Stark for his Pfeiffer in the first innings. So with Australia 2-0 up, a win at the Wacker will see them secure the Ashes. So while uh, England in the first innings, they batted first. They were all out for 366, with Cook scoring 79, Vince with a 55, Root 63, and Bairstow chipping in with 54. As for the bowlers there, Lyon once more in the wickets, 4 for 79 off 29, and Stark with 3 for 71. So looking at Australia's first innings, and they scored 508, with Uzi getting a 234, and Tim Payne proving the doubters wrong, getting 100 off 133, and uh, with the ball, can't be up to much there, 3 for 115 for Moeen Ali, and Wokes Broad with two wickets, and ball 3 for 90. So England needed a decent score here, and they got all out for 355, will it be enough to get their first win of this Ashes series? Uh, Cook 52, Stoneman 146, 
and uh, Besto in there with 46 with Root chipping him with 45. And looking at the bowling once more, Lyon absolutely smashing it at the moment. 5 for 133, with Hazelwood picking up 2, also Stark 2 for 86, and Cummins with the other wicket. And there we go, Australia have already won the Ashes, 3-0, and Warner unbeaten, 117 not out, finally scoring some runs, and uh, everyone else pretty much chipping in there as well. And yeah, easy, too easy in there now, winning by 6 wickets. And uh, looking at the bowling for the English side, they have not had a good time of it of late. And Anderson, 2 for 72 of 12, he got pumped. And Wokes and Ball picking up one wicket each. So for his nine wickets in the test, Nathan Lyon was man of the match. And uh, yeah, Australia already winning the Ashes series. And it'll be inter interesting to see if England can uh, grab a couple consolation wins. But uh, it's not looking likely. So onto the Boxing Day test at the MCG. And England batted first, scoring 396. Ali with a ton, 118. And Milan and Root with half centuries. Looking at Australia's bowling, and Lyon absolutely ripped up 7 for 156 of 38.3 overs, with Cummins getting two wickets and Stark the uh, other wicket. And taking a look at the Australians' innings, and they could only score 195, no one getting a half century, uh, Usman with 46, the top score, and with the ball for England, Anderson 4 for 61 of 15 overs, with Broad and Wokes picking up two wickets each. So England enforced the follow-on, and Australia made them pay for that decision, with Hanscom getting 156, Tim Payne 151 not out, Jesus, he has been in the runs this series. And Uzi with 79, continuing his good form. Steve Smith with another 60. Marsh with 59. Stark with 45. And they scored 628 all out with the ball. Five bowlers used, uh, sharing the wickets. Broad and Anderson, three each. Wokes with two and Ball with two. And it just keeps getting worse for England. They were all out for 325, about 100 runs shy of the total. And uh, Stone with a half century. Ali and Bairstow in the 80s. And looking at the bowling, Cummins, uh, pick of the bowlers there, 4 for 83, and Stark in line with two wickets each. So uh, man of the match for the Boxing Day Test was Nathan Lyon. He, uh, he absolutely ripped up there, nine wickets for the match once more. And uh, hopefully, well, let's see if England can uh, at least win a match. So here we go, on to the last match. Australia 4-0 up at the moment, and England batted first here at the SCG. And they scored 418 first up, with Root getting 195. Stoneman with 123, no one else really firing, Cook with 43, and with the ball, Cummins once again picks the balls, 4 for 109, and Stark in line getting 2 wickets each. And looking at Australia's first innings, Uzi once again in the runs, 123, Hanscom with another half century, and uh, yeah, 340, and looking at the bowling, Ali and Wokes with 4 wickets each, and Broad and Ball with 1. Taking a look at England's second innings, and they scored 366, with Cook getting 82, Milan scoring 89, and Besto with a well played 113 not out. And looking at the wickets for Australia, Stark getting a 5 for 5 for 125, Cummins 3 for 61, with Lyon and Marsh, Marsh, okay, Marsh picking up 1 for 11 off 2, and Lyon 1 for 112. And taking a look at Australia's second innings, they need 450 to complete the whitewash, but they fell around 150 runs short, so uh, all out for 294, with Smith getting 95 and Stark unbeaten on 64. So uh, there we go, England have avoided the whitewash, but uh, yeah, they got absolutely smashed 4-1. And looking at the bowling for the English team, Broad 6 for 71, Ball with two wickets, and Wokes and Anderson with one each. And that means that Joe Root, for his 195 in the first innings, was player of the match. And there we have it, Australia taking back the Ashes off England with a comprehensive 4-1 victory. And taking a look at the statistics from the Ashes series, and Usman up top there with 739 runs, an average of 73.9, two tons, 350s, well played young man, and Hanscom in second spot with 586 runs, an average of 65.11, and Cook was the best of the Englishmen, 577 runs, at an average of 64.11, and uh, one ton, 450s. And taking a look at a few other blokes, uh, Tim Payne, proving the doubt is wrong, 428 runs, at an average of 61.14, and that strike rate, 86.63, is not too bad either. And looking at the newcomers, Cameron Bancroft, 351 runs at an average of 35.1. And uh, let's have, take a look at how Sean Marsh went. Uh, not too good, actually. 173 runs at an average of 21.63. So uh, maybe he shouldn't be playing today, but uh, oh well. And take a look at the bowling stats now. And Nathan Lyon was the top wicket taker with 33 wickets, with an average of 34.91, which is quite high for the amount of wickets he took. And uh, Mitchell Stark in second spot with 26 wickets, an average of 30. 
Pat Cummins in third of 21 and an average of 33. Anderson, the pick of the Englishman, 19 wickets and an average of 41.63, which is not too good at all. And then Chris Wokes there with 19 wickets in as well with an average of 38.05. And yeah, they didn't really use that many bowlers. So we see here Broad with 18 wickets, Hazel with 16, Ali and Ball with 14 each. And Sean Marsh, the only really non-bowler to uh, get a bowl. And he picked up one wicket and he's probably taken away the best average with 11. Yep, there we go. So he's been uh, brought into the side for his bowling. So there we have it. Ashes Cricket predict a 4-1 victory for Australia, taking back the Ashes of England. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, then please have a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below about who you think will win the Ashes series. But until then, take it easy.